I had to play a little bit more on my own because the game's honestly getting a little bit repetitive. So we have almost all of the trophies now except for the red upgrade thing, which that ends the game, so that's why we don't have that. We also just got Psychopath for killing lots and lots of humans. An interesting thing is humans now seem to respawn, so that's an easy way to get that. We haven't played it for an hour yet. Oh, and we also got this one for 5,001 level. Isn't that hard as long as you kill every freaking buddy? Also, we got these three new upgrades. Well, two new upgrades. Killer Cyborg is my favorite. Look at this guy. Let's turn that over. He's got 100 freaking 80 health. And submachine gun or something. He's insane. He makes short work of even the freaking uh, special humans. Though they're really expensive. Which makes sense. Crazy good, gotta be crazy expensive. Now, the zombies are pretty helpful, but I noticed you don't get the processor cycles you get for killing a human until the zombie dies. Which is odd. But, not the biggest deal, but it is nice to get all those processor cycles. Because this way I have to wait for humans to kill the zombies. You can manually kill the zombies if you want, but you don't get the processor cycles out of them. In fact, the only reason you'd want to kill your own zombies is to get that uh, kill 20 humans, um, what's it called, achievement. Oh, I also have an EMP thing, but that mostly just hurts me, it doesn't hurt them. So let's spawn a couple more... Uh, cyborgs for no reason. Oh, the facility's like completely owned. I fear there'd be more humans to murder. Murder. Oh, hey, they get 200 HP, not 180. That is not bad at all. And there are absolutely no humans left alive. Do I get money for killing the zombies? Die already. I guess I can't kill that one. Am I getting money? I can't notice. I can't see. Kill. I'm not sure what you do to kill the zombies, actually. Sometimes I can click on them and they explode. Sometimes they don't. I don't get it. Anyway, one more level and we should have enough for that next, that final upgrade. Dead scientists. The news haven't caught on that, you know, these 30 hundred freaking incidents are actually slightly related. Oh no, secret agent from whatever. Cyborg time, bitch. Oh snap, I'm out of processor cycles. Yeah, the cyborg is extremely expensive and I tend to not notice that. Okay, let's murder a scientist here. Hey, wait, wait. Very good. These special humans aren't too hard to work around. The best thing you can do really is use the uh, cyborg. The cyborg seems way better than the other ones, than the other upgrades. Because the EMP, it blows up up to five computers, which is good, but other than that, it destroys all bots in the level. And bots are all good, basically. So I've never used that. After we... After we win this level, we'll go ahead and do that, though. And there's also Mass Brainwash, which turns all of the level's humans against each other. Which doesn't seem that helpful, actually. I mean, I'd rather use a cyborg, at least. So let's EMP detonation. There we go. Hey, what? That robot clearly survived. And our cyborg lived. Well, that was even more useless than I thought it would be. So yay. Murder. Well, we've now won the game, I guess, so. Oh, crap. There we go. Crisis averted. Let's say it aloud. Government says no cover up. Well, the government is lying. Or maybe they're just really stupid.
I could go either way on that. Purchase, upgrade, portal technology. Yeah, this is... That was also pretty useless, in my opinion. Only the zombie one and the... What's it called? The zombie and the killer cyborg are great. The other three are useless. So we win. We did not get addicted, though. We got kind of close, I think, though. Yay! Yay! Everyone's dead. It is a pretty stupid assumption that, oh no, it's the first sentient AI is going to kill everybody. There's a... There was a comic I saw making fun of that, but... I don't remember what site it was from. Anyway, music was from Carrot. Carrots apparently are pretty good for... They're good for your eyes, but they're also apparently good for your soundtrack. Also, this guy has some very weird fingers and skin. And very weird everything, really. He's just all messed up. But yeah, we murdered everybody. And I guess we can just continue on. So that's nice. You can... Let's portal... Yeah, the game was very clearly in, um, influenced by Portal. And, um... Oh, hey, the portal persists, so humans can't... Hey, cake! It's cake! Cake. Delicious cake. So, okay, that... That's not completely useless. It makes one level they can't go through, I guess. I figured it'd be a one-shot thing. I didn't think it would persist. And let's see this. Mass brainwa- Oh. Need more cycles. Let's see what the mass brainwash does, shall we? Brainwash! Look at those guys! They're psycho. Except for the hacker who just doesn't care. She's like, yeah, I'm a hacker. Whatever. Well, this has been Let's Play I Am An Evil Rogue AI, or Insane Rogue AI, rather. It is made by... I can't see, but... Yeah, I'll post... You'll know the creator. Just check the description. Well, it's been fun playing.